factoring with repeated use of a difference of squares. Here are some multivariable expressions. They both have x's and y's in them. But the first rule in factoring is look for a greatest common factor. What do these two terms have in common? They both have a y to the third power. So why don't we take that GCF and factor it out? Let's take the GCF y to the third and then use the distributive property. And when we do the distributive property, what would we have left? We would have x to the fourth minus 16. But that is a difference of squares. In fact, that is now equal to y to the third x squared plus 4 and then x squared minus 4. The sum of two squares can't be factored anymore. But notice right here, this is also a difference of squares. x squared is a square and 4 is a square. So let's keep factoring. Let's keep it going. And what do we have left? We have x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. So how many factors do we have? Well, we have a factor here. Factor of y with multiplicity 3. Here's another factor. This factor is called x, plus, x squared plus 4. Here's another factor, and here's another factor. So we really have four factors. The factor of y, though, has multiplicity of 3. We have factored this completely. Let's circle our answer. Let's move on. Let's try another one. What is the greatest common factor from x squared times y to the fourth? and negative 81x squared. Well, it's x squared. So let's take out the GCF and use the distributive property again. What do we have left? We have y to the fourth minus 81. Once again, that is a difference of squares. And so like the previous example, you're going to try to factor this completely. This is y squared plus 9 times what? y squared minus 9. And there's the difference of squares again. So there is a repeated use of difference of squares here. And we just keep factoring. Keep the pencil moving. Practice, practice, practice. And make this, turn these factoring problems into muscle memory. Once again, we have four factors, but the factor of x has multiplicity of 2. Circle our answer, and we have factored this completely.